What is good, y'all? What's up? My name is David, and we are cooking with food what? What is good? Was it this really sunny day after a couple days of clouds and, you know, pockets of sunshine here and there? Is it a perfectly sauteed vegetable on a hot, steaming bed of rice? Was it that workshop that we posted yesterday? What is good? Either way, what all of those things have in common? Rainbows. Check it out. On today's episode of Cooking with Food What? We are eating our rainbow. Now this is something that we've kind of been talking about for a couple weeks now. I'll keep throwing it in there. Eat your rainbow. Eat your rainbow. It's good for you. Eat your colors, you know? But today we're actually going to talk about what that could look like. This is one way it could look like. What we got for you today, rainbow fried rice. So we got a bunch of different veggies in here to add to our whole color palette. And we're gonna make some art today. Let's get creative. We're gonna saute a bunch of vegetables, make some rice, toss it all together, fry it up, and eat good. Let's eat our rainbow. All right, let's get started with the rice. So. Why are we using brown rice? Uh, brown rice is better for you than white rice. In most situations where I'm cooking rice, I'm gonna try to use brown rice. And the reason for that is that brown rice has all its nutrition still. White rice has been stripped of most of its nutrition. There are three parts to rice. The bran, the germ, and the endosperm. The bran, the germ, and the endosperm. The brown rice has all three of those things. White rice, has lost the bran and it lost the germ. So it lost all its fiber and most of its protein and nutrients. And I know nowadays we're trying to stay away from germs, but this is a germ you want, trust me. It's got all the protein and all the nutrients that white rice does not have. So today we're gonna cook with some brown rice. And we made rice last week, but we'll go through the process real quick. The way we flavor it this time is gonna be a little bit different. Get your oil on, do the spoon test. Does it bubble? Add your rice, crisp it up till it's golden brown. For one cup of brown rice, use two cups of water. One to two ratio. We'll bring that to a boil, and while that's boiling, let's talk about how we're gonna flavor this real quick. Remember how last week, we looked at some consomme, some bouillon that had red dye number 40 in it. And we weren't too hyped on that. Don't like that too much. But, check out what I was able to find. Some better than bouillon. I really like this brand because they don't have red dye number 40 in there. I'm not trying to make a plug for any particular brand. But, as long as it doesn't have red dye number 40, I really like that. The other cool thing is that they make a no chicken base vegetarian flavor so it tastes like chicken but it's vegetarians so for those folks who want your stuff to taste like meat but you don't actually want to participate in the meat industry for various reasons that we can go into another time you got options so we just put the bouillon in the consomme and now that it's boiling we're gonna cover it up we don't have the pan lid so you gotta improvise and that's okay that'll do just fine turn down the heat to a simmer and let that sit and make sure you're checking up on it every once in a while because that'll cook faster than you think beautiful stunning beautiful wow Ooh, that is beautiful beautiful This is our vegetable medley, y'all. Look at this. All right, so we got our vegetable medley all chopped up and we're about to go saute. But what I'd recommend with beets is actually cooking them separate from all the other vegetables, sauteing beets. The reason for that is 
that the beets will literally change everything in your vegetable medley that color. Red beets that are the most common ones eaten uh, will change everything in your rice pink. If you like pink rice, go for it. If you're trying to see the rainbow, then what I'd recommend is cooking them separately. So I chopped these up, roasted them at 375 for about 30 minutes, and they got nice and soft. And I'm gonna add these to the mix after all the other stuff gets cooked. And if you don't like red beets, then what I'd recommend is a golden beet. Check these out. This is what the beet looks like when it's peeled and chopped in half, but look at that, that is beautiful. So uh, we already have a good amount of yellows in our mix right now, so I used a red beet instead, but these are cool. Y'all know what this is. It's a warm pan with warm oil that has passed the bubble test. So when we throw down our first veggies from the vegetable medley, it makes that sound. And while that gets started, we're gonna come over here, do the same thing. Warm pan, warm up your oil, it's beautiful. And what we're actually gonna do with these is make eggs. That's right. Let's add about four eggs to the mix. Eggs are amazing. I love these eggs because they're pasture raised, which means they walk around freely. They go and peck what they want to peck. They're not confined in little cages. And those eggs just always taste better. And you know that that chicken lives a happy life. So, thank you chicken. Eggs, baby. Can I do this with one hand? Ah, what's good? Any eggshells? Nope. Four eggs, scramble them up, Woo. that's beautiful. Over here we are ready to add the rest of our vegetables to the garlic and onions, let's go. It's a beautiful thing right there, look at that, look at that, eat your rainbow, see it's fun to play with food. <laughs> Now the thing about this veg vegetable medley is that there are various things that will get cooked at different times. Um, what I mean by that is, some, is that something like the carrots will cook slower than the kale in here. So what you can always do is um, add a little bit of water to this to effectively steam the carrots so they get soft. And that way the kale and the chard and the other leafier things don't get burned like a half cup. The thing that I love about fried rice, rainbow fried rice specifically, is you can use whatever vegetable you got. It's great because you can do just about any vegetable medley you want. If you're wondering like, oh, I don't know if those flavors go with each other, you know, I don't know if like this vegetable goes with that vegetable. Well, for the most part, you're gonna be safe. And the reason why is that we're, this is one of those things where for the most part we season it once it's done cooking. And I'll show you what I mean. The two main things that we're going to use to season it are soy sauce and sesame oil. Sesame oil is a great alternative if you have friends that are allergic to peanuts, like our friend Farmer D. So we'll use some sesame oil. Soy sauce gives it that nice salty flavor. Really good flavor for fried rice, can't do without it. All right, all right, so we are ready to add the rice and the eggs and the sesame oil and the soy sauce. So those are gonna be the final things that we add. Let's do that. So, fry it up real good, there we go, beautiful. Then, we add the soy sauce. Now, if you notice, I have very little soy sauce in this. It's only a quarter cup. I might use as much as a half to a three quarters cup, but I'm starting low because soy sauce is super salty. So you don't want too much soy sauce. So just do it little by little and add it as you go so that way you don't do too much all at once. We need a little bit of sesame oil. Um, a tablespoon or a couple tablespoons will go a long way. Beep. Spread that around. Still gotta taste it. So good. Y'all thought we were gonna forget the blue? Nothing some edible flowers can't solve. Y'all, life is more beautiful in color.
So make sure you get some color in your diet. Eat your rainbow. Stay healthy. This certainly helps. We don't need no red dye number 40 to get some color in our system. Nope. We just eat our veggies. Fry them up. Mmm. Oh my god. This is the best fried rice I've ever made. This is bomb. Alright y'all. Thanks for joining us. Cooking with Food What. My name is David. Catch y'all later.